Hi guys, I'm going to explain to you what you're going to work on today where you're making a brochure for Camp Green Lake. However, it's not the Camp Green Lake that we know of in holes. You are going to be making, creating, and designing your own brochure for Camp Green Lake either in the taiga or the rainforest. So you should have already watched both brain pops and decided whether you want to choose for the setting of Camp Green Lake to be in the taiga or in the rainforest. And then you're going to redesign it based on what you've learned. So here is Camp Green Lake. Um, my brochure for Camp Green Lake that I made of actual Camp Green Lake in holes and how I'm going to show you how you're going to change it. So I made my title is Camp Green Lake and my slogan is from the book, if you make a bad boy dig a hole every day in the hot sun, it will turn him into a good boy. And then I just drew a sun because it's really hot there. I drew the cabin. I drew a shovel. I have a yellow spotted lizard. Um, I included some holes that I dug. And if you want to, um, when you go to do your design, um, if you would like to add some pictures or some drawings. So remember that when you do your cover, so you're gonna create your own cover of your own one. So yours is gonna look like this. You can still call it Camp Green Lake, but if you wanna change it because of its setting, that's fine. So we know Camp Green Lake is called that because it actually used to be on a lake. We know it's no longer the case. And you're gonna come up with your own slogan. So remember, Camp Green Lake or the camp that you're designing is a place for kids who break the law to go to um, hopefully become and change into a better person. So it's a detention kind of center that you're changing. So you need a name and a slogan. Um, so what I'm gonna do is if I show you how to insert a picture. So first you can add some shapes for your back. You can change your background there. You can add some shapes here. There are shapes if you wanna use them. You can use your any of your drawing tools that you wanna use. And then I also like when I wanted to do the yellow spotted lizard, um, I just typed it into um, Google and then what I did is I took a picture so say I wanted this one I hold down I control click and I'm gonna copy this image and I'm gonna go back to seesaw and I'm going to control and I'm gonna paste that control V and I'm gonna paste that image or go to edit paste and then I have it right here and then look, I can make it like really small and I can add it to my picture. So if you want to add little pictures, you can. So that's your first thing is you have to come up with your cover of your brochure, which told you the title and the slogan of your camp. So you can change the colors. You're going to add pictures. If you do the taiga, you're going to add elements of that. If you're doing the rainforest, you're going to add elements of that. Think of the environment. Think of the animals. Think of the weather. Think of all those parts of a setting. Then you're going to move to living conditions so or living accommodations. So this is kind of how the campers live. So I made mine based off Camp Green Lake. And mine is the campers live in tents with other kids. They're sent to um, that other kids that are sent to Camp Green Lake. I said they each get a cot and to sleep on and a thin blanket. I said they will wear orange jumpsuits and a hat to keep the sun off their faces. Breakfast is served at I need to check that is served at nine four thirty a.m. to avoid the hottest part of the day. Each camper gets a freezing cold shower after digging their holes. And I drew this a couple of the tents and I got a picture offline of um, a person in the orange jumpsuit. You, for your living um, accommodations, you're going to describe what the campers live in, where they sleep, what they wear, all eat, what they eat, anything that you think they need. So if they live in the taiga, what are they going to sleep in to keep warm? It's really cold. What are they going to wear? Um, what are they going to eat? Tell me about anything that you think is important for how they live. Same thing with the rainforest. What would they live in? Where would they sleep? What would they wear? And how what would they eat? All of that stuff. So you can draw pictures. You can include some stuff. And you can type in here. Um, what their living accommodations are based on the setting. So I'm hoping that we're realizing that if we take Camp Green Lake and we throw it in the taiga or we throw it in the rainforest, it drastically changes what the campers um, have weather-wise, what they're able to wear, what even their um, jobs are going to be while they're there. After you do living accommodations, you're going to go to the next one, which is character building. So at Holes, um, it says at Camp Green Lake, the boys will dig a hole each day that is five feet wide and five feet deep. Their supplies are a shovel that is five feet tall and they get a canteen for water. So I added a picture of them digging holes and a canteen. You are going to have to think of what is your character activity, um, character building activity going to be that the campers do um, to help build character and make them better people. So in holes it works because the ground's easy to dig. In the taiga where it's really cold and frozen, I don't know that that's going to be it. You might have to get creative and come up with a different character building activity. And same thing for the rainforest. What do you think the characters could do in those environments to help um, build character that would make sense with their setting? The last thing 
are the rules. So I found these rules are from actually from the book Holes, but I'm going to read them to you. So mine were one, don't lay in the hammock. It belongs to the warden. Two, if you find anything interesting, give it to your counselor. You might get the day off. Three, watch out for rattlesnakes, scorpions, and yellow spotted lizards. Four, there isn't a fence or any guards at Camp Green Lake. Feel free to run away. There isn't any water for a hundred miles. Five, don't upset the warden. So these things make sense for, um, for Camp Green Lake because A, there's no shade, so there's a hammock to lay down. Um, we know that there's these types of animals that live um, in this setting. We know that it makes sense that there's no fence in Camp Green Lake because there's no water. But if I live in a place where there's water, then maybe I would need to change that. So you're going to go for your last thing, and you're going to come up with at least five rules for your camp based on the setting. So if you're in the taiga, what would your five rules be? Or if you're in the rainforest, what could your five rules be? So you, again, um, can add drawings, you can add pictures, you can add shapes. You're going to make this look really nice. If you want to do this on paper, that's totally fine and hand do it and color it. You would just need um, four pieces of paper. So for your brochure, okay? So you would need um, these different things. If you wanted to fold your brochure, um, you could take a piece of paper and fold it into like a trifold like this. Take a piece of paper and fold it into three and you can have your own brochure that way. Um, or you could fold it in half or make it so that it looks like this. So you could fold it different ways, like one, two, and the inside opens up flaps. If you wanted to do it on a piece of paper, that's fine as well. Um, just make sure if you do it on a piece of paper that you post a picture or a video of it to Seesaw so that your teacher can see. So again, the goal of today is to know take what we know about setting and to apply what we know about holes and apply what we know about this new setting and kind of put the Camp Green Lake together with this new setting and think about how it changes the story. So at the end of the day, the setting is super, super, super important to the book and really lays the groundwork for what can or can't happen. All of these things happen at holes and at Camp Green Lake makes sense because of the setting. If you remove the setting of Camp Green Lake and you change it, then all of these different things are going to change, okay? So I want you to work really hard on this get really creative and see what you can come up with. All right, bye guys.